These are a identification of uh, stinging nettles, uh, the Euterica family. And there's a lot of different types of nettles, so no, all nettles that sting and that call nettles are not stinging nettles. Um, it's a generic term. This is a flowering stinging nettle right now. And you can see it has the flowers are pretty much microscopic, the little teeny bumps that you can see. It has purple flowers with um, little teeny white um, middles. And um, its seeds are um, cluster up into pods. And those are the seed pods. And um, typically each seed pod has about 30 seeds in it. And the leaves are very jagged and um, it's a very green plant when it starts out. This is a, a healthy green plant and then it stretches and it gets to about 10 feet even in, in height and its leaves will get really big and the bigger they get the, then you know that the plant is older so when you're collecting for freshness or viability or quality the smaller the leaves, the better quality the plant is going to be. You can see holes and discoloration. Then you know that that plant is old and past its prime. You can see a yellow-brown leaf versus a very dark green. And um, that's going to be really important when it comes to collecting things. You're not looking for something that's, that's old like that. If you want to get a nice fine green, that'll show you that it's healthy. When it's seeded, that's another stage in its life. So collecting um, for different reasons is going to be important to know your plant and what season it's in and what you're harvesting. If you're harvesting the seeds right now, is uh, already too late. Most of the seeds are already fallen out. Um, the best way to get the seeds, by the way, is to shake the plant, not stripping the plant or taking or cutting it down unless you need it. The whole plant is a fibrous plant that it's going to have uses, so the stalk's going to have a use, the leaves are going to have use. So once again, knowing what it is that you need it for and then when to use it and when to harvest it is going to be good. And um, once again, for identification, um, remember what this looks like and not just that it's a um, you know a plant that stings but that it's specifically this is the stinging nettle and as far as um, collecting the leaves and stuff goes you just fold it like a taco and eat put it in your mouth chew on it tastes good it's a really healthy green, green, green plant, green plant food. Just fold it. No problem. And um, the seed pods, um, all the parts of the seed pods are edible, and the leaves are edible. And um, when eating the seeds alone. Um, I process the seeds first. I clean them out of the out of the pods. These are the seed pods, and on the seed pods, and this whole stem here, and all these leaves are covered in microscopic silica needles that will sting the heck out of you. So, when harvesting or eating, be aware of that and uh, know that that's a histamines and a lot of powerful um, neural medicines that are really good for you. It's God's way of uh, giving you a healthy shot of uh, beneficial products of medicine. And um, so these seed pods, all the seeds, when cleaned out, the seeds by themselves are, uh, taste like butter. They're really nutritional and uh, high in protein and this whole plant eats radiation and is extremely powerful and uh, giving you the um, green green foods that you need for your diet for um, your green vegetables and nutrient content 
it's got far beyond the amount of spinach and your average amount of foods. So, once again, remember that this is a pretty identifiable plant, and um, once you recognize it and see it, you'll never you'll never mistake this for a bigger leafed plant. There's a lot of huge leafed plants, and the leaves on this typically get about a little bit bigger than that. So, nevertheless, these are the buds. Those are the seed pods. That's a flower that you can't see 